Maganda umaga po sa iyong lahat. And maligayang Sabado. Maligayang Sabado. Oh, it doesn't look like you guys are happy today. But I'm happy to be here. Um, four years ago, I used to think that mission is the objective or the goal. I used to think that preaching is the goal. But I have learned um, that Jesus Christ is the goal. Um, in the beginning, we were with God. Sin separated us from God. And Jesus has come to reunite us back to God. Um, if you look in the book of Acts, in Acts chapter 1, verse 14, the Bible says that the believers gathered together in one place with one accord, and they were praying. And when you go to Acts chapter, one, chapter 2, verse 1, it says that when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were gathered together in one place with one accord. And after that, the Holy Spirit came. They went out preaching. Uh, in chapter 3, many people were baptized. When you go to chapter 4, okay, chapter 3, verse 1, says that John and Peter were going to the house of prayer at the hour of prayer, the ninth hour. They were going to pray. When you go to chapter 4, verse 31, it says they gathered together again, and the place was shaken again, and they began to preach with more boldness. So what happens in chapter 2? happens in chapter 4 and verse 31. I'm going somewhere with this. When you look at chapter 6, uh, verse 4, Peter says we will give ourselves to prayer and to the meditation of the word. Um, in Acts chapter 7, Stephen dies on his knees while he's praying. And he says, forgive them. He prays for them. Um, in Acts chapter 9, Paul has an encounter with Christ. And after that, he spends a lot of, t he, he, he lost his sight he spent time praying, talking to God. Um, when you go to Acts chapter 10, after Peter prayed, he had the vision where God was sending him to the Gentiles. And after Cornelius prayed, he also received a vision. When you go to Acts chapter 12, Peter is arrested and the church meets for united prayer. And then he's let out. In Acts chapter 13, the Bible says the prophets and teachers gathered together in one place. And they were praying. The Holy Spirit came and said, separate for me Paul and Barnabas for the work that I have prepared for them. When you go to Acts chapter 16, Paul and Silas are arrested. They were beaten. And then they got up at midnight. They began to sing hymns and to pray. And they preached the gospel. Many people in the prison were baptized, the jailers were baptized, and they went out. If you look in the book of Acts, it's a book of mission. But mission began when they had an encounter with Jesus Christ. It was a result. And in almost every chapter, you see that whenever a great revival is mentioned, it was a result of prayer. It was a result of communion with God. After Pastor Jiri Moscala presented, I was talking to him, and I said something to him. I said, I've noticed, and what I've enjoyed the most about your presentations is that it is Christ-centered. And he said, um, he said, thank you, but he said, I pray that it remains like that. Sometimes we lose our goal, we lose our focus, and we are too eager to go out and preach. We are too eager to go out on missions, but we forget about having a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. We forget that <laughs> we are being reformed, we are being transformed. Sometimes we go out preaching, and when we go to the Bible, we do not go to the Bible to seek Christ. But we go to the Bible to get a message, to get a sermon, to preach to people, and not for ourselves. And what happens is what happened to Judas. We will die in ministry, or we will give up. An example is Balaam, who was a prophet. Another example is Demas, who abandoned Paul for the pleasures of the world. 
and Judas also. Ellen White mentions in Desire of Ages that he saw Jesus as a stepping stone f to attain um, position or wealth. He was not truly coming to Jesus because he loved Jesus. As Ryan mentioned, uh, bad theology will result in a terrible mission. Our goal is to have a living relationship with Jesus Christ. I just want to mention this because I think it's important, but I, throughout these years that I have learned this, um, I have had encounter with many evangelists and many ministers who are preaching and sharing God's word. And some of them have admitted that they have gone sometimes weeks without reading their Bibles, personally. But that they would teach and they would preach. But they had gone weeks without praying. They had gone many, long t without fasting or anything or talking to God. But they have been doing all of these things. So as we do mission, we should do mission. But mission is a result of having a genuine encounter with Jesus Christ. True mission is a result of having a relationship with Jesus Christ. So may God bless us all as we seek to have a divine encounter with Jesus Christ. And mission becomes a result. It is something we, it becomes even difficult to prevent yourself from doing mission. May God bless us and happy Sabbath.